Hello to our enthusiasts, my name is James and today we are jumping back into our expert mode playthrough. Since the last episode I ended up crafting the Master Ninja gear and the reason why I'm using this instead of the Shield of Cthulhu because essentially it does the same thing, right, it, it does. But it gives the player a chance to dodge, right, and we're using that dodge ability to, um, to basically like get a little bit of a one up when we fight Gollum. We want to get less attacks from him. It has the same dodging effect, I believe, as the titanium armor, which is the armor we didn't have, and also we're using the turtle armor, so we don't want to do that anyway. Other than that, I've not done much. I wasted, well I say wasted, I used all of my gold reforging it, and I didn't get the reforge I wanted, so today we're going to have to sell some stuff. We're going to have to get some monies when we're in the dungeon. But we're heading to the dungeon again, in case you didn't watch last episode. We're heading to the dungeon to go find a paladin hammer. The, the paladin is like a rare mini boss that you can get in the dungeon after facing Plantera. And we need it because the weapon that it drops, the paladin's hammer, is absolutely baller. Right? We really need it. So, other than that, that's all I'm looking for this episode. If we do a solar eclipse as well at some point today, that'd be good. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I may save that for tomorrow. Because that is a full-fledged video right there. That thing is so lamb, so damn long. So damn long indeed. And my talking ability today is slightly dampened by the fact that I, uh, that I am tired. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've not been getting my early nights, and that's bad. You shouldn't do that. And staying up late, watching YouTube videos... Basically being a teenager, and that's never good. <laughs> so I'm all tired, I regret it, uh, and hopefully tomorrow we'll all be perky and fresh again. I've got my coffee, well I've got a Red Bull today, so it's all good. Right, we need to get into an area, oh, Palladium, oh, <laughs> I thought I said Paladin. Right, okay, we need to get into an area where we are good. We got the hallowed key yesterday, well, we got it out of storage. So if we see the hallowed chest, we're going to have to grab from it. I don't know if I passed it on the way, I don't feel like I did. But if I did, I do apologise. It's not it's not essential anyway, because it's only got a rainbow rod in there. And we're just getting the rainbow rod just for just for looks, basically. We don't really need it. Right, I'm going to buff up. Got a danger sense, and a regen iron skin. On me today, got some good stuff. So I want to uh, I want to get some nice farming done today. If we're gonna do a whole farming video, then we need the right buffs because we don't want to be dying every two minutes. It's never good. Right, okay, let's keep an eye out for that hallowed chest. I know I could look for it on the map, but I thought we'd just uh, well I thought we'd just find it ourselves while we're in here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, rainbow rod. It gives you some. It's surprising how like rubbish the potions actually are, considering it's a post plantera thing. I don't think they've uh, factored that in. Because obviously it's an auto-generated system, isn't it? So, yeah. You're always going to get the rainbow rod, which is cool. Which is what we got. Right, I'll show it off to anybody that's not seen it before. Ooh, we've got a tally counter. Did we have a tally counter on us before? I knew we had one, but I didn't know if we had one on us. Wow, we're getting some really bad damage from the, uh, the Necromancer. Come on, Necromancer. Necromancer is a very tough enemy. It obviously drops a very good... Ah, there you go. He drops a really good uh, weapon, I was just about to say. I'm going to heal up. Right, if we can survive this, I might put some stuff in my piggy bank. Gotta be careful, because obviously, things are gonna be coming at us yet. Look, things are already there. Right, okay, money trough. Quick stack what I can. Right, it was only money. Let's put in some of this stuff. Oh, I wanted that, actually. Right, okay. Let's... Which should I put it in? I want my ectoplasm. Let's put in stuff like this, because I'm not going to use them just yet. These are stuff that I'm going to use in the future, so we'll put them in here. Right, lots of enemies piling up, lots of enemies piling up. Can we do it? Can we do it with the ectoplasm as well? And this thing. Jesus, I hate this thing. Alright, well I guess I freed up enough space, didn't I? <laughs> right, okay. Come on. He does a lot of damage and we don't want that. There we go. <laughs> look at this, look at this. It's insane the kind of enemies we're getting right now. It's absolutely insane. Really, really insane. Man, nice weapon though. I really like this when I play mage. I really, really like this weapon. Wow, and it's still doing really good stuff for us, to be honest. And we're not even fully using it. Imagine if we actually had a mage tier. Well, we do have extra damage, and I do feel like damage can help. Oh, it's got a new sound. Sorry, for one. It's got a new... I didn't really recognise that, but it has got a new sound since I last used it. Which is nice. Which is very, very nice indeed. Alright, let's move on. We'll put some stuff in here real quick. Let's put in a yellet, a fish, a hallow chest, some chlorophyte bars. Stuff that I'm not going to use just now. 
Here we go. Throwing a little flying knife at him. Right, so let's continue onwards, my friends. Oh, God. Should we use his own weapon against him? Ha <laughs> ha! Which one's yours and which one's mine, fella? I cannot tell myself. Right, I'm going to get out of this area because this is too cramped. I like the area where we were yesterday where we could uh, basically put down some... I believe it's here, actually. Yeah, it was here. We could just chuck down a few of these um, Nimbus Rod items. Just chuck down two of them, get killed on some enemies. You know what I mean? It's all good. It's all good. Right, okay. We just need to take this dude out because he's, uh, he's really, really strong. He's going to do a lot of damage to us. Just do a little bit of extra damage with these uh, little these little showers. We are looking for the Paladin, so it's going to be a while. It's one of these things that just take a while to spawn, so until then, we're just going to see what kind of rare items we can get, because there are some rare items to get in here. There are some really good items, and all of them take time. That's the thing about this area. All of them take a lot of time. Ooh! Murdered! See, I knew we were low on health, and I knew we had a lot of debuffs on us, but I did not think we'd get murdered. Absolutely murdered. It's alright, because we can get there really fast, because we have our... We have our sky rail, so we can head back there. Look at these casters. Jesus, casters, what are you doing? <laughs> right. So, um... Well, I don't want to use any of this stuff. Ooh. Okay. Let's get back in the rail, let's get back there. Right, it's just going to take a little bit of time this episode, but we have to do it, so let's get to it. I purposely did not make that rhyme. We've got some ectoplasm, though. I'm hoping that we can maybe use the ectoplasm for something, maybe a clash change at some point, depending on how we want to approach an enemy or something. We've got a lot of items that would work for other classes. Oh, that's nice, man. Got that new fresh sound as well. A new fresh sound and then new mechanics, or at least it feels new mechanics. It feels like it trails off a lot faster than it used to. I know obviously a lot of stuff got changed in 1.3 that I've not seen yet, because one, I've not played Mage, and I want to play Mage. Um, and two, because I don't use every weapon. Knowing me, I'm the kind of guy that uses weapons when I need them. And so if there's a, ne uh, a weapon I don't need, I don't really use it. But I should. I should use I should use uh, different weapons more. It'd be good to uh, to mix things up. Obviously, class playthroughs can do that for you a lot. Obviously, when I did my um, when I did my fisherman's run, it really mixed things up. Like it really, really shifted things around for me in terms of what I used. And that was good. But I never did fishing. And then one day, made a series about it, and bam, it was super, super popular. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views overall. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. Right. I hope you guys don't mind me rambling today. Today is a farming episode, so I thought I'd bring you along for that. And obviously in a farming episode, what do we do a lot? We ramble. And we ramble because that's the fun thing to do when you play Terraria. Because Terraria can be really repetitive sometimes. Like, you do a lot of the same things a lot of the time. So, you know, it's good to... It's good to have the episodes like this where we just do stuff that is actually what Terraria is. You know, it's not all taking down the big bosses. It's uh, grinding for a few hours. Uh, unless you're using, like, inventory edits and stuff, which is perfectly fine. Um, but it's grinding for all these enemy uh, weapons, and then you get to face the enemy. And then that's how you get the amazing reaction that they always give, where I completely shout and scream because I feel good about it, because we've worked on it, and, and our thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the area where we were yesterday. Or rather, where we just died. I know it was hectic, but there was an area where I thought that'd be a great place for a Nimbus Rod. And uh, I didn't get to execute it this time properly. Right, okay, let's get out my Nimbus Rod. It was here, wasn't it? It was there. One there, one there. Alright, okay, and then stand here. Have I got my blue flame buff on? No, I do not. Alright, we need our candle out. I'm going to put the candle there. Ooh, stuff like this, the giant skulls and stuff, they are uh, they're a, they're a deal breaker when it comes to this place, aren't they? Right, and then what we can do is, is we can mine some blocks. Uh, really, really fast, actually. And then do that. Nice. Right, so then we've got an area where they get farmed and stuff. We can uh, kind of relax. Oh, he's stolen my item for free. Two, one. Good move. That guy, although although low in damage, is amazing because of that one move. I like that. 
So this is going to be a really good place to wait for uh, for wait for what we want. Obviously, we really want a uh, we want a paladin to show up. So, uh, so yeah, this is going to be a really good place to wait. Ooh, let's see if we can get some clouds in there, right? And then get them all running to here. See, they'll all stay in one place if you really really want them to. Which is cool, which is cool. Right, so I'm going to do a little jump cut. I'm going to see if I can get one of these bad boys to show up. Uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll let you guys know, and I'll cut back in. If not, it's going to have to be an even longer rambling session. And we got murdered again. Oh, well, but I had a better strategy this time. I was getting lots and lots of enemies. I just couldn't handle them. Hmm, just getting absolutely murdered. Well, what do we do now? Well, I think what we need to do is we need to stick with it. So I'm going to go back there, and we're going to stick with it. Okay, so instead of what we're doing, because I can keep getting smashed in the dungeon, I've tried a lot, I've tried a lot. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we are going to, uh, well, we're going to make some potions, we're going to get all buffed up, and we're going to, basically we're going to try and attempt to fight the solar eclipse. I think that will be uh, like a fun way to handle today because obviously we're not doing too well in whatever else we want to do. I'm going to take a Titan Potion. What I've done is I have unequipped the Shield of Cthulhu, uh, the Shield of Cthulhu because obviously it gives us uh, plus 4 damage and allows us to dash, and replaced it instead with a Fire Gauntlet which increases melee knockback, inflicts fire and does 10% more melee damage and speed plus 4 damage already. We're just going to put our damage up, obviously, and if we take a Titan Potion and all that, we should be good. So I'm going to summon this thing, and bam, we're going to buff up, and I'm just going to talk through it, and we'll see what happens. I don't have the best stuff at all, as, as you can tell from this. Uh, I've yet to actually fight this in expert mode, so I'm kind of scared, I'm not going to lie. I'm well, not scared, but I'm just like worried about the, the outcome of this. I don't think we're going to do too well at all. Ugh. Like I don't think we're going to be able to kill a Mothron, for example. But apparently solar eclipses are like such a great way to get uh, weapons at this point of the game. Like it just dishes out so many great weapons that people really love. So apparently it's like really awesome for that. And knockback is doing as well. It's keeping us safe. But we just did 120 damage to 120. Is it easier to attack those spiked things or is it just best to fly away from them? I'm gonna turn off our mini map. It's a little whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, you guys are strong. Look at that. Eyes all Frankenstein. Psycho's getting in there. Oh, that's scary. Because we're going to spawn there in a second. I'm just going to have to buff and heal. Buff and heal. Whoa. Okay. That is a little bit terrifying. Look, that, that Reaper's even going to get murder all my NPCs. Just one Reaper. The eyes or laser itself is enough to just completely one shot us, if I remember correctly. Just from knowing it from the uh, previous mode. It's, a, it's an absolutely insane thing what we've taken on. I feel worried. I feel more worried about this than Plantera now. Which is crazy when you think about it. Look at that. Look at that onslaught of enemies. Ah, we're doing a little bit of damage. Oh, look, they're killing Reapers. They're, they're, they're not handling that knockback very well, are they? Great. That's good for us. That's good for us. Yeah, those Eyesaws are very powerful. If we can get a melee weapon during this, though, we can use that against them and keep going. So we're just going to keep killing Reapers, because I really like the Demon Scythe. You can always run away. Do a little bit of backtracking, obviously, in this our little stadium. We're going to heal up on here and stuff. And regain health. I guess that's good. Right, okay, we can heal again. Ooh! Bit of extra damage. I remember that from the point zero fight. A little bit of extra damage, you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you. You guys are good at advice when it comes to stuff like this. I knew you'd be saying that, so uh, I knew how to implement that. I didn't even need to read the comments yet. I knew you'd say, use that for a little bit of extra damage. Oh, no. Okay, no weapons so far. All right, not getting hit by one of them flashes, mate. All right, the good thing is, because we're in expert mode, there's a more, there's like a higher chance for stuff to be dropped. All right, okay, we're taking a lot of damage there. I thought I could tank it a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I thought with my clouds of death. Yeah, I don't know. All right, Pinhead. Oh, wow. Pinhead, Pinhead spiked really go quite far, don't they? Okay. This is what we get. If only we had like more, uh, more less sinister horror movies, then all these things would be based on like, I don't know, Miss Muffet's Tuffet, uh, the murderer, she bakes your cakes. That'd be better. That'd be better. 
<laughs> oh boy, a world to live in. Alright, okay, I might try to drag my Shadow Flame Knife along these. Like this. Oh, Mothron, Mothron, Mothron! Oh, please don't kill us, Mothron. You're gonna murder us, aren't you, Mothron? Oh, I just forgot we can't dash. I was just about to dash then. She gets faster and faster. Oh, changing the angles is the worst bit. When you want to change from left to right, that's the... Oh, she's a lot faster than us. She's a lot, 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 faster than us. Come on, Mothron. Come on, Mothron. Be nice to us. Be nice to us. Oh, no, I got caught on the snow block. Damn you, Snow Legion. Which I accidentally summoned. No, no, oh, come on, Mothron, Mothron, die, no, please, Mothron, die, can't even heal, can't even heal, come on, Mothron, yes, broken hero sword, not bad, yes, that was, uh, that was pretty scary, alright, does it even drop the Eye Cthulhu now, I don't feel like it does, does it drop it now, or is it after Gollum, yeah, I'm gonna have to say after Gollum, man, God, that's, that was tense though, wasn't it? Who thought would make it? I didn't. Ooh, got absolutely butchered then. A broken hero sword though, we just need two of them. Then you can make the, uh, the, what's it, the Terabay, the Excalibur, whatever it's called, True Knight's Edge. Not made that in a very long time. I'm broken Batwing, nice. He's in Batwings. No, 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 Batwings. Alright, okay. Alright, no weapons drops thus far. Obviously, we don't have that Titan Potion to our advantage anymore, as I've realised. Alright, okay, whack up some clouds. Try and stay in one nice area, so they can all get hit by it. So the good thing about this little uh, Shadow Flame knife that we're using, if we hit the enemies, they bounce down and hit the people below. So uh, that's kind of to our advantage. And with this knockback, though, we are, uh, we are managing to get a lot of people like... Oh, a new weapon! The Zelius Butcher's Chainsaw. I imagine, I'm not gonna lie, I imagine it sucks. Because what weapons really are good from this area? Oh wow, it's not too bad actually. Huh, not bad. Alright, should we try uh, running through them? Oh, does it chop down trees as well? Oh, look at it. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Wow. Here I go, flapping my mouth, thinking I'm all, I know all, and I'm like, yep, it won't be good. Look at it, said they've done some good damage. Oh, okay, Mothron, Mothron, Mothron. Alright, we managed to defeat you last time, Mothron, by pure luck, I think. So we're going to see what we can do today. Okay. Remember, Mothron, you are way too fast for us. We've got 46 seconds left on the potion, so that's not good. It's them, uh, them eyesores are going to be the thing that kill us this time around, I can tell. We're just not, uh, we're just not fast enough, and then, yep. Eh, uh, what do you expect? What do you expect? This thing is hard. Hard as all hell. Will it still be there when we respawn? That's the question. Are there any enemies there when you respawn? There should be. Oh yeah, I forget, it's a longer, uh, there we go. Alright, we'll start flying just in case it is there. Nah, I don't think it is. Ah, well. Oh well. What is uh do these come up as rare creatures? That's an interesting point. Do these come up as do any of these come up as rare creatures? No. I thought he managed to manage to kill like four Isles. I thought he'd managed to kill a lot more than that. Ooh, they are strong, they are strong, they are strong. Got little clop ears out on the floor. Right, okay. Alright, we need to get down. Ooh, I'll tell you what. Are we out of potions? Oh, we're out of regen and iron skin. That's why I'm sucking so bad. Right, okay, what we're going to do is my little trick. We're going to turn on auto balls. So then we can uh, do some crafting. And uh, do some fluky crafting. Which we'll see in a minute. You'll see how I do this. I don't know if you guys use this trick as well. Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry, when we respawn, you'll see the trick I use to uh, craft potions and such. And I've got low health and we're dying and there's lots of stuff around us and we're at our house. Man, this has not turned out for the best, has it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, why can't I make any more potions? Oh, because I didn't open the right chest. Right, okay. 
we'll make another Titan. Make two more regen. We'll make a Swiftness. Alright, buff up and heal up. Alright, and get the hell out of this house. That's gonna be that's gonna be step number one. Buff up, heal up, and get the hell out of the house. Alright, put up a few uh, clouds for good stuff. For good measure. Alright, okay, this is good. This is good. We're doing a little bit better now. Now we got them potions going. You could instantly tell when I didn't have them, that's the thing. Like, it really showed. I was losing so much health. I wasn't really gaining any. Alright, okay, it's better when these vampires are, like, actually not flying at you. Those pinheads. It's best when you just stay away from them in general. Alright, it won't be too long now before we get them off front, so I want to make sure we're at a nice health, so I'm going to stay a little bit away from you. There we go. Knew you'd be, I knew you'd be back, off front. And we've got 16 seconds uh, before we can heal up. Ah, uh, alright, okay. Just mop on. Come up with the red beacon now. Alright, this is where the shield would have been good, but we're using it for knockback. I imagine it'd be even faster if we weren't knocking it back. Unless it isn't affected by knockback. Oh, okay. We've got baby mothrons. We've got, we've got elect deadly spears. Oh, no, mothron. Mothron, you have really burdened us with your presence. Oh, no. Oh, come on, mothron. Lay a few more eggs. There you go. Alright, let us heal up. Okay. The first time we did beat Mothron, we did beat it a little bit out of a fluke. This is literally worse than fighting the twins for us. What is this about? Oh, did I manage to kill it? Did it drop out? Did it drop out? No. Well, we don't have to drop stuff all the time, I guess. It does make sense. Alright, let's kill the baby Mothron's off. You're just a burden now. Now that we have laid waste to your mother. <laughs> is, that, is that too? Is that too mean? Is that too mean? It's probably too mean. I just want to make sure that she didn't drop out. We've got to be certain of these things. All right, everything's coming after me now. Brilliant. All right, well, farming this thing has not gone very well. Not gone very well at all, has it? <laughs> I could do with the demon sight. If I could get a demon sight, that'd be good. Well, to be fair, we have got one broken hero sword. Which we can say is pretty good. You know, because it is. Got one broken arrow sword. We've got a... You know, we've got a chainsaw. Not going to use. Alright, let's throw down some clouds. Okay, got an eyesore there. Oh, stay away, eyesore. Okay. Oh. Right, how many more can we take down? Jesus, these people are just too hard. <laughs> Look at this, like, backstepping on a pony. Phew! Man, that is hectic. Well, anyway, this is going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the hell out of that like button. I want to see more likes on this series. Just a good little reminder there. It'd be awesome if you could do that. If you are signed into a YouTube profile, just give it a quick little like. That'd be really cool. Helps out the channel a lot, and it means that I know that you like the episode. That's what it's there for. Uh, so other than that, I'm probably going to farm this a little bit more, and then uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Good morning, good evening. I hope you like dreaming. You live to learn and you learn to live. It's positive and negative. I can't sleep, but I dream big. I can't sleep.